Hello? Hello? There's dust all over. All over the mic. It's been a while. It's been a minute. What is up, guys? Welcome back for another Thursday of Raising Serotonin. Honestly, that just gave me so much serotonin. (laughs) Like, I actually got really happy doing that, and that's just my reminder of why I do this and why it feels good and why I started. It all just reminds me, you know. I don't know why I go into these, like, little hiatus things, but I did have my yearly review with my boss, and... I, we, I guess, came to the conclusion that I was just uninspired. I felt that I didn't have anything to talk about when in reality, I probably have so much to tell you guys, but I kept coming back to the thought like this isn't, this podcast is not about me. This podcast wasn't created to talk about myself. It was to tell the stories of how I got to the places that I'm in and how I keep going and how you may relate to them and how the tips and tricks and all of the progress that I've made may be able to help you and make you feel less alone because I felt absolutely beyond alone in my journey and that's not the point of a self-love journey. It's not the point of trying to get better. Doing this is not supposed to be by yourself. It's supposed to be around people that you love and trust and it just you're not alone, okay? Regardless, end of, end of why I do this podcast, it's to prove that you're not alone. So I didn't want to come on here and be like bitching, basically, because that's not what this is for. This isn't for me to be a bitching, but at the end of the day, it is therapy for me. It is a way of journaling, even though I'm speaking. This time, I'm actually, I didn't even write anything down. This is all just completely candid and that's a little scary for me because I don't like to ramble (laughs) which I do feel like I'm already doing but I missed you guys and I hope that you missed me too because I'm going I'm going to try I'm gonna try to be back and I do have multiple things to talk about I have so many ideas now that I, I don't know like they just weren't coming up they weren't in my imagination anymore. They were just, I felt like the 80 something episodes, they, I gave you everything I possibly had. Like I told you my entire story over and over again, but there's still so much that I could possibly tell you. And there's not, I don't have an episode on it and there may not be an episode out there on the things that I want to talk about. So I'm just going to put that, close that bad mindset that I had of being uninspired and just not having anything to talk about. That's such a negative mindset and that could be seen as an excuse, but I couldn't do it. You know that I don't put episodes out unless I feel 100% because why the heck am I going to waste your time? I'm not. Why am I? I would, that's like my biggest pet peeve when people waste my time. So one of my biggest pet peeves, you know, I have many of those. So I am taking, oh, I just hit myself with a mic. I tend to do that. I always move around. I also, um, uh, we're Italian. My family's Italian and I always talk with my hands. And ever since my grandpa called me out probably like a month ago about me doing it. And now I just always notice myself doing it, talking with my hands. So if you talk with your hands, they feel you. Okay. All right. So let's just get into what this episode is about. This episode is about choosing yourself. I had put a poll up last week, two weeks ago, I don't even remember when it was, and I wanted to get back behind the mic, and I had some ideas, and this is one of them, and this got the most votes on my Instagram. Think about it for a second. How often do you actually put yourself first? You wake up in the morning, and what do you do? If you don't have a morning routine, what do you do? You're just rushing out the door to go, what, to work for someone else? Pretty much. Okay. First things first. If you are new here, welcome, hi, but my big thing is morning routine and I truly, solely, wholeheartedly believe that the way that you start your morning is how the rest of your day is going to go. If you are starting it with shit and not putting yourself first, then you are going to have a shit rest of the day or you're just 98% of the time because 
what like what you just wake up like I said you wake up and go you work for someone else that literally has nothing to do with you and a mm, pro- okay I don't want to say everyone but a good portion of the people I know don't even eat breakfast so that's already not putting yourself first you have to start your mornings your days I don't if I feel like if you work at night like it's so different than this but if you are starting your day and you're waking up just scrolling on your phone and laying in bed for an extra hour and a half and not getting up and just moving your body and th- going outside. I just put on my Instagram recently why I'm so obsessed with the idea of getting outside in the morning. Morning light sets off hormones and neurotransmitters which make you feel good. AKA your serotonin. AKA get the heck outside in the morning if there's sun. I don't care if it's for 10 seconds, like it's supposed to be for like 10 minutes, whatever. But as long as you are getting sunshine in the morning, you are going to put natural energy into your system. Okay, that's amazing. Let's start doing that. If you can put your feet in the grass too while you do it, even better. Grounding is amazing for the body. Getting that energy from the earth. I know I probably sound like some like earth lady now, but whatever, seriously, like these things do work for the body and it's very crazy because I never did them before. So now I actually notice the things like I'm living proof of these things. I've been doing them for over a year now and I'm seeing all of the results from like not doing it versus last year versus now. So it's crazy. But back to waking up. Waking up and putting yourself first is waking up and moving your body, not scrolling on your phone for a while, not like even moving your body, like working out, just getting up, go to the, going to the bathroom, getting something to eat, drinking water. You open your eyes and you drink water. Come on. Little things. Small little things add up over time. So if you continuously do them, it's going to be a routine for you. It's just going to happen. It's just going to be subconscious and that, oh, and it does take time, but it will happen. So I think morning routine is a huge part of putting yourself first and choosing yourself and obviously doing small things over and over again is positive things are going to add value to your life and that is putting yourself first. But What this podcast really should be about is how and why, if you don't put yourself first, what can happen to your mental health. And I see it in other people. I remember what I did. You are going to eventually just fall into negative habits and negative mindsets and arguments and fights and become unmotivated and miserable if you don't put yourself first in the situations that you know you should put yourself first in. If someone is just being the worst to you and there's no reason for it, absolutely do not take their shit. I'm telling you, like stand up for yourself. Do whatever the hell you need to do heck I should say (laughs) do whatever the heck you need to do to just put yourself first in these situations because no one should make you feel any type of way besides loved and important no one I don't care if they are giving you corrective criticism because that's so different But if someone is straight up just being an absolute ass to you, that's when we have to take a step back, look at what they're saying, because a lot of the time it's either manipulation or projection. Actually try to read, read the vibe of the, if it's in person, that's even better because then you can see like the attitude and the body language, but it's like via text message or something like just read read it figure it out like don't actually just submit to what they're saying and respond very quickly because and impulsively because that is actually not going to get you freaking anywhere absolutely not it's just going to cause more arguments so take your time to respond to people even in person step back take a deep breath like you have that right to say give me space like i'm gonna walk away now i don't know who you think you are speaking to me like that but try again later 
<laughs> because we're not going to do that here. I don't deserve that. And you don't deserve to talk to people like that. No one does. I would not do that to you. So you're not going to do that to me. It may feel very, very weird. You may cry. You may feel anxious. You may shake. You may feel uncomfortable. You may laugh. You may, I don't know. You may just feel not okay. And that's probably normal. (laughs) Sometimes when you put yourself first, it is scary because you don't know how people are going to react. But we have to remember that their reaction doesn't matter. You standing up for yourself, you putting yourself first, you doing what is best for you in every single situation. I don't honestly know what's best for you. Like you can make that decision on your own. Obviously, I want you to be happy and healthy and positive and be around good people. But if you want to go do X, Y and Z, then like you live your life. But you make those decisions for yourself, not for anyone else, not because someone may think it's cool or because you want to make someone else feel better. No, like if you know that 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 someone is wrong, then you have to put yourself first. You have to not scream and shout and react and I don't know, just be negative to someone's bad choices. Choosing yourself is not not letting other people get a rile out of you to get this nasty version out of you to come out like choosing yourself is looking at the situations and just taking it in for a second stopping thinking breathing reminding yourself who you are and just putting yourself first because at the end of the day you are the only person that has to live in in your body no one else and If you lose a friend, if you lose someone, if they're not in your life, then you know what? They served a purpose and that purpose is over. And maybe in a year, a month, uh, two weeks, I don't know. If that, if we want to communicate again, then that's totally fine. Absolutely fine. I'm not saying that you can't, but for that time being that whatever the situation was, that served a purpose in your life and I You couldn't be more thankful for that purpose, okay? That's it. You learned from it. Every single thing that we go through, we're learning from. Someone had said to me, oh, I feel like I wasted like years of my life being with that person. Like, absolutely not. You did not waste years of your life. I've said that before. I've always like, oh my God, I wasted like college years, blah, blah, blah. Shut up, Sam. Like, stop. Don't, don't know. (laughs) Like, don't. You didn't waste anything. You have to learn from every single situation that you are in because it's only going to make you better. You can talk about the pros, the cons, how you can do things differently, all the things. But if you, at the end of the day, if you are saying, okay, I say, Sam, you need to do this for yourself. You have to because it is the best possible situation that you could be in doing this for yourself. Then fine, do it. And we will You'll go to therapy and you talk about it in therapy later. No, I'm kidding. Because I know not everyone goes to therapy, but for real, like, why are you going to waste your precious life, your precious energy, not picking yourself? You have to work your whole life for someone else most of the time. I'm working towards being my own boss, but everyone normally works for another person, works for another company. So the decisions that you make for yourself, make them good. If you want to do something and you have the money, you have the energy, you have the rights. I don't <laughs> if you can do it, then do it. Make it positive. Make the things that you're doing, the small, good, little habits, make them all positive for yourself. Because there is no point in wasting any more time being negative and living for other people. You can't. You can't. I did that for years. Like, I can't believe some of the things that I did for people because I just wanted to be in their life so bad. I just stuck around and let bad things happen because I was like, oh, this will this will work. I'll just stick here and do whatever they say. Absolutely not. No, don't beg and plead for shit ever for nothing. You can find something else somewhere else. There's this world is very big. So putting yourself first, choosing yourself shouldn't be hard. 
it's in the beginning it may feel uncomfortable okay i think there's a difference between a hard, be, something being hard and something being uncomfortable so when you put yourself first it may may feel weird may you get a little, a little anxious on the inside you may cry but that's okay take a lot of deep breaths in through your nose out through your mouth because it's going to be okay but putting yourself first means working on yourself every single day in the morning in the night in the afternoon all of the routines all of the good habits moving your body for yourself to feel good to release the endorphins the serotonin and doing it because you know it's going to better you you know the decision that you make is going to better you okay i'm excited to be back and i'm excited like that felt really good to record so i hope you guys liked that one i love you and i will see you soon Bye.